What's up guys, Global Gaming here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how I make my videos. So, we're just going to jump into this right now. The thing I use to record all of my games on the PC, just recording anything just like this video, I use the thing called OBS. OBS is amazing, and I just love it. So, we're going to jump into it right now. Basically, OBS has all these amazing features, and it's free. So, I highly recommend you guys, if you're going to start using or getting a channel, you guys need to download OBS. So... Um, basically, all you can do so many things. That you can do Twitch alerts. You can do so like when people donate you something or subscribe or something while you're doing something, and it will pop up on the screen. Um, you can do uh, monitors capture. You can do Elgato. Um, you can do all that fun stuff. Green screen, everything in this, and that's how I do all that. Then I just recently started using the Elgato software because they added green screen, they added Twitch alerts, they added all that stuff. So now I'm now I'm starting to use this because this is a way better software. <clears throat> It's just, it's a lot harder to record computer screen with this. So, basically, this is why I like it so much. Now, I can press record. I can do something on the screen, on the Xbox, and then I can stop recording. And then, I can go to my edit section, and then it takes a second to process, and now I'm in here. If, if I don't have any editing software, I can do all my editing in here. Literally, all you could possibly need is in here for... A starting channel. If you have three subscribers and you want to make a video, this is all you need. So you can cut it, and then you can separate. If I can do this, have I haven't ever used this, but you can drag it apart. You can make it shorter on here. So like, if you want to cut out something at the end, if you want to cut out something at the beginning, or if you want to cut out something in the middle, you can cut it and then drag it through. But that's basically it. Um, you can press, and then I'm just going to delete it, because I don't need it. Now, that's basically the Elgato software. Probably the most basic thing. Probably pretty much everything you need for three subscribers. Moving on. Um, the next thing I use for recording all of my videos, this is, I just, it's so, you need to get this, and it's Audacity. Audacity is what I'm using to record right now, and basically there's so many awesome things you can do in Audacity that you probably didn't know about. Making your voice sound a million times better is one of the amazing things. All you have to do is go to Effect, and it's not going to let me do it right now, but if you want, I can make a video on this. You go to Noise Reduction, then... Oh, at first, before you start recording, I can actually do this right now. Go to the beginning. I, I waited. Let's see if it'll let me. I don't think it will. Well, at the beginning of the video, you wait five seconds to so it can record all your background noise. Don't talk. Be, sound, be silent. It'll record your PC fan. Everything. Then you highlight that. Go to Effect noise reduction, press get noise profile. Then, you press control A, and that'll highlight the entire thing, effect, noise reduction, and then press OK. It'll take a second, but then it'll just remove the background noise from everything. That's why it's so awesome. There's a lot of other things you can do. I can make a video up on it, telling you guys how you can do it, and make your voice sound so professional. So, yeah, we're gonna basically just move on. Audacity is amazing. Go get that. Cause it, oh yeah, forgot. I don't know if I said this, but it's absolutely free, so you need to get that. Now the next thing is I open up Sony Vegas once I got all the clips and I open it up. Now it's gonna take a second to open. There we go. And I actually need this little master uh, bus thing. Okay. Basically, this what this is is it tells you how um, loud your voice and everything is. So <clears throat> we're gonna go to file, file, import media, and then. I can import something. Let's just import my intro. Now, when I import this, it's just going to pop up right here, okay? So what you can do is either double-click on it, and it will put it in right at the beginning of the track, or you can drag it in to wherever you want. I'm just going to double-click, and it'll put it in right at the beginning where I want it. And then all I, have, I I make the intro extra long so that I can go to the end, like this, and then make sure you can't see anymore. Split it with the, uh, the S key, Control u delete the rest, the black part, and now I've got something like this. I can actually make this a lot quieter because that's going to be really loud. Put a fade out on this. Put the <clears throat> um, gain down. Now, it sounds awesome. You guys actually can't hear the sound, but it sounds perfect. <clears throat> and that's basically it. So, actually, I can't hear it. Okay, perfect. That's actually perfect right there. So, that's basically how I do that. And then I just file import media oh, import media and then I just go into videos where I actually have everything saved so when I export anything it comes straight into here and I can actually just drag the thing like the clip I just made into here 
bam, I can shorten this down, and then now I've got this clip, so now we'll just play over into this, but if you guys want something that's really, really awesome, you can do a Sony Vegas, super easy, and I like to always drag it over, the clip over 20 milliseconds, and it'll, it'll look just like this. And it's on preview half. You can actually switch it to preview best. Now, okay, I just want to tell you guys something really, really quickly that I actually got con extremely confused with. <clears throat> See how pixelated that is? That's super pixelated, right? Well, <clears throat> now, that's because the little window thing is open on draft and quarter. So that's going to be your worst quality. So, the reason, now, that doesn't mean that it's going to render like that. It, your video is not going to be like that. Your video is going to be whatever you set it to. So, if I go to render, and I wanted just the render buttons right here. It's going to take a second. But basically, I can render it in 1080p. This is my render settings. This is my 720 render settings. So I can render it in that. And it won't render it in this. But the one of the most important things, if you're ever taking a snapshot of what you want to do, you press this little button, it'll, give it, it'll take like a snapshot of it. Always snapshot in best full. Because whatever your snapshot is, is going to be the preview window. Now, the draft quarter, that's just going to be the preview window. Somebody just pulled down my driveway, no idea. But, yeah. Um, so, we're going to be wrapping up this video soon. The thing I used to add in my thumbnails is Photoshop. If you guys don't like Photoshop because it's too difficult, download Paint.net. That's easy and it's free. Look at the video on how to get it so you don't get a virus. That's basically it. I'll see you guys all later. Peace. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. I prayed in my truth for some robbers And he's playing Batman But he's gonna rob him yeah. I got the Glock in my robbery 17 shots